Okay, next up is congressional leadership. We're going to start by um, talking about leadership in the House of Representatives. All of those people that you see up there are leaders in the House. Um, that's John Boehner, he's your speaker. That's Eric Cantor, he's your majority leader. This is your whip, um, the Republican whip. That's Nancy Pelosi, she is the minority leader. That's Steny Hauer, he's the whip. I, I, I don't know why I cannot think of the Republican whip's name. Alright, I'll look it up before the end of this. Uh, majority party versus minority party. Um, leadership in the House is all based around which party holds the most seats. The majority party right now in the House of Representatives is the Republicans. So all of these guys, yeah, you know, all of these guys, the speaker, the majority leader, the whip, um, those are all Republicans. Now, Speaker of the House is the um, Speaker of the House is the most important party member. Sorry, uh, or the most important person and the most powerful person in Congress. John Boehner, this guy right, that guy right there holding the drink, he's the one who refers all bills to committee, and he controls all the debate on the floor. So, if you want to talk about a bill or if you want to work on a bill, it's all going to be about whether he wants you to work on it or if he wants you to talk about it. Party whips. Um, the party whips, their job, and both the Republicans and the Democrats have a party whip, but their, their job is to whip their party in line. They are supposed to check on how party members are going to vote on a piece of legislation, and they're supposed to make sure that they do it. Um, so with the repeal of Obamacare. It was the Republicans' whip's job to make sure that all Republicans were going to vote to repeal Obamacare. The Democrats, when Obamacare was getting passed, it was all of the Democrats' job to make sure that every Democrat member of Congress or the House of Representatives voted the same way for Obamacare. Party whips communicate with their party members and with their leadership to determine if there are enough votes to pass a piece of legislation. And remember, parties want to pass legislation that will benefit their party's platform or the issues that that party supports. Senate leadership. Leadership in the Senate isn't as important as it is in the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has 435 members. That's a lot of people you have to keep in line. The Senate only has 100. So senators are allowed to actually get away with a little bit more and kind of be on their own without all of that party leadership. The House, since there's so many House of Representatives members, they need the leadership to keep them on course and on track. Um, the Senate... The vice president uh, has a role in the Senate. The vice president's constitutional role in the Senate is to break ties. So if it's a 50-50 split, then Joe Biden, our vice president, is the one who gets to break that tie. Um, so that's a benefit of, you know, having your party in the White House. So if the Republicans and Democrats are split right down the middle 50-50, Joe Biden's going to vote with the Democrats and the Democrats are going to win that issue. Um, when the Vice President or the VP is absent, the President pro tempore serves as the head of the Senate. It's pretty much a ceremonial position and it's given to um, the senior or the eldest uh, member of Congress or the Senate that is from the majority party. So to be president pro tempore, you have to be old and you have to be with the majority party. Um, floor leaders also have power in the Senate. They have the most power. There is no Speaker of the Senate like there is Speaker of the House. So the floor leaders are the most powerful. And the majority leader is the most powerful person in the Senate. Um, your majority leader is this guy right there. Ah! Sorry, this guy right here, Harry Reid, yes, he is flipping off the camera. Um, I covered that up, though. The majority Republican leader is uh, Mitch McConnell. He's right there. These are your two whips in the House. 
I mean, excuse me, in the Senate, these are your two Senate whips. The Senate also has whips, and in the Senate, the whip's job is to do what the whip's job is to do in the House as well, to communicate between the leaders and the rest of the Senate, and to make sure that everybody's voting like they're supposed to, along party lines, that all Democrats are voting together and all Republicans are voting together.